Hello everyone. As you may know, we recently released a report with our long-term prediction and the numbers have gone up a lot. However, we still think it's incredibly undervalued and the reason for that is that two assumptions have changed in the last couple of reports. The first is that our old model for Tesla predicted that it would lose a third of its market share, which have happened in 2018. 177% of the global market, including China. This was because Tesla killers were coming out. Today, we're going to reveal the closely guarded secret that investors have been clamoring for, when to buy Tesla stock and ride the rocket to millions. But wait, there's a twist in the tale, a hint of mystery and a dash of suspense that'll keep you on the edge of your seats. This isn't your average stock market prediction. This is a momentous event that could change everything. The suspense is real, and the rewards are endless. Don't miss this story. Make sure to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to Tesla Stock News. Okay, let's start this movie. We are quickly moving away from cars with internal combustion engines, and this trend is picking up speed. Some people say that businesses should focus only on the internal combustion engine market because it will make them more money. Also, there is a promise to make electric cars a profitable business. Investors should keep in mind, though, that Tesla's approach of lowering prices while keeping production levels the same is very hard for other companies to copy, and it may not be possible for them to do so. It's important to realize that advising Ford to keep focusing on internal combustion engines is not the right thing to do in the short term. The truth is that they have to keep moving toward electric and self-driving cars or else they risk going out of business. Electric vehicles are becoming more popular, and more and more are being added to corporate fleets. This is mostly because they are cheaper to maintain than gasoline-powered vehicles, which is why companies like hers are continuing to grow their electric vehicle fleets. The number of electric cars on the road is growing faster than the switch to electric vehicles itself. Depending on what happens, energy companies may rethink their investments in the fossil fuel ecosystem. This could cause oil prices to fluctuate. While this volatility may show up as lower highs and lower lows, it's not a sign of inflation. It's because investments are being pulled out of the sector. Let's look at some statistics from the last month. The number of cars sold has been much higher than expected, with 15.9 million units sold compared to 14.8 million units expected. Several things can be blamed for the strong success in auto sales. First, despite changes in the economy, consumer confidence has surprisingly stayed high. Second, manufacturers have continued to adapt to changing market preferences, with many focusing on making more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly vehicles. However, it's worth asking whether this upside is due to pent-up demand after supply chain disruptions or an increase in dealer inventory. We'll soon know the answers to these questions. Now that Tesla has recently decided to change its auto prices, it's caused some misunderstanding. Are they lowering prices because demand is low? That's a good question. Tesla has said that it prices its cars strategically to keep the production lines running at full capacity. Even with these price cuts, Tesla's margins are still higher than Ford and GM's, so it's not necessarily a sign of weakness, but a smart move to keep the lines running smoothly. This pricing strategy is one way that Tesla is different from its competitors. At the end of 2023, Tesla stood out like a bright star, winning my heart. Ascent went up by an amazing 15% in just six months, which was a big change from how poorly it did in 2022. During this resurgence, Tesla's stock price went up over 150% in just six months, which made investors, both individual investors and hedge funds, very excited. However, in the last 30 days, Tesla's stock price has dropped sharply by about 25%. This recent drop may come as a surprise to investors who have been riding the electric vehicle and battery manufacturer's wave of success all year. Up until July 18th, Tesla shares had skyrocketed by an amazing 170% year-to-date in 2023, but things started to go wrong around that time. It's important to note that it's still early days and only a month of decline to look at. But since July 17th, Elon Musk's company has been steadily losing market value, dropping over 23% from its peak of nearly $290 per share. Last night, TLA stock closed at approximately $225 per share, marking its lowest price point since early June, 
just two months ago. However, there's no reason to be too worried, as Tesla had a great first half of the year, rising by over 170%. Tesla is able to keep prices low in part because of its unbroken track record of profits for those who have invested in Tesla stock. If you need proof, just take a glance at this graph, which illustrates the point now. Let's momentarily set aside the specific stock prices and focus on the graph's pattern. A mountain, this mountain-like shape, signifies that each time Tesla's stock dipped it eventually climbed again, even during the challenging times of 2022. Whenever Tesla's stock descended it later ascended this pattern, continued into 2023 where Tesla's stock hit its lowest point in January and then began its upward journey rebounding in February, ascending further in March experiencing a brief dip in May followed by a substantial rise in June and reaching even greater heights in July so the takeaway here is clear throughout its history. Buying the dip in Tesla stock has consistently proven to be a highly profitable strategy. Now let's dive into the pressing question that's been on everyone's minds. Is now the opportune moment to buy the dip in Tesla stock? Most Tesla investors are likely well acquainted with the company's remarkable growth journey. To recap earlier this month, we discussed how Tesla had deeply navigated its growth trajectory, scaling from producing 350,000 vehicles in 2019 to a staggering 1.3 million delivered in 2022, a remarkable achievement, even if it fell slightly short the 1.5 million goal for a 50% rise from one year to the next Elon Musk has said that he thinks this growth will continue in the coming years. However, the question is whether Tesla can realistically maintain a 50% growth rate every year for the next five years or even a decade. While it might be possible in the short term, many investors would argue that it's not likely to be possible over a long period of time. Time will eventually tell. It's important to remember that a lot of Tesla's success and potential is already built into its stock price. Right now, Tesla has a high price-to-earnings ratio of 64 which is much higher than companies like Toyota, P.E. of 10.6, and General Motors, P.E. of 4.5. Toyota, on the other hand, has already accomplished many great things in its history, while Tesla is still working hard to reach its lofty goals. However, it's important to remember that Tesla's future holds more opportunities than just delivering cars. The company's dedication to fully autonomous driving and recent advances in AI as Elon Musk has said, paint a compelling picture of its prospects. A tweet from someone who used to doubt Tesla's full self-driving skills, but now drives their Tesla around San Francisco using computer vision brought this progress to light. Elon Musk's reaction to this tweet, which hinted at progress in artificial general intelligence, shows how big of a deal the company could be. AGI is a big step forward, and while it may be a little scary, it points to a future where AI technology can solve problems that humans can't. In conclusion, investing in Tesla right now requires a lot of faith in the company's future potential, since its current P.E. ratio is high. Recent advances in AI and the company's lofty goals suggest that there may still be room for significant growth. Keep in mind that Tesla's journey is far from over, and it's an interesting area to keep an eye on. In this part, we've looked into the interesting world of Tesla stock. First, we thought about whether now is a good time to buy the drop in the biggest car in the world. Tesla has a history of impressive growth, going from 350,000 cars in 2019 to 1.3 million in 2022, just missing its goal of 1.5 million. However, it's not clear if the company can keep up this fast growth in the long term. To find out what that means, we looked at Tesla's high price to earnings P.E. ratio and compared it to companies like Toyota and General Motors. It's exciting to think about what the future holds for Tesla, thanks to its dedication to fully autonomous driving and significant advances in artificial intelligence. Recent success in AI that was emphasized in a tweet shows the direction the company is going. Do you think Tesla will be able to keep its 50% growth rate year after year? If you compare Tesla to other companies in the same industry, what do you think about its present high price-to-earnings ratio? What do you think about the recent advances in AI and how they affect Tesla's potential? Finally, would you buy Tesla stock now that it's cheaper? If you learned something and were inspired by the discussion, 
Please consider helping us by giving this video a like and subscribing to Tesla Stock News. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next videos.